The demon prince goes to the academy captor. We must flee. Alaris cry snapped me, the archduke, and hurried out of our stupor. Yes, escape. If any of the falling meteors were of a seriously colossal size, we would have to worry about a planetary scale catastrophe, however. Even if they were not that large, it was clear that a tremendous disaster would sweep away everything in its path. Where to escape and how to do so, long-range teleportation was impossible due to the barrier. And even if it were possible, there wouldn't be enough casting time and, with hundreds of burning meteors raining down from the sky, tearing the earth apart, how could we possibly avoid them? Could a barrier protect our bodies from the shockwave of the falling meteors? Harriet clenched her teeth not knowing what to do, but feeling compelled to do something. A blue magical aura began to boil throughout Harriet's body. Yes, casting magic as quickly as possible in this desperate situation was something only Harriet could do. But how could one respond to this situation? Whom countless rune symbols, as well as Harriet's necklace, were emitting intense light. It lit not one, but five power cartridges. All of them discharged fierce magical energy replenishing Harriet's power. Its power. Teleportation was impossible, but with the assistance of the power cartridges, could she use it? Was she trying to break the barrier and use mass teleportation instantly, moving us to the outskirts? Whom? I saw the largest of the hundreds of falling meteors suddenly vanish. A pitch of black circular rift had appeared in the meteor's trajectory, which I could see clearly. Harriet had opened a portal the size of the meteor in its path, sending it somewhere else. One meteor vanished. Well, 